that. I can't believe that. This is a brand new coach. That's crazy. Wow. And look at this. I pulled that out of there and literally it just pulled right out. Hang tight. Well, here we are with the new trailer. And would you look at that? That is crazy. Those wires have gotten so hot for some reason. And this one here, coming from the IntelliCharge Wizard, look at that. Why is that so corroded? And that one's got corrosion on it too. This is a disaster. Let's get this fixed up and let me tell you guys how I figured out that this was even happening in my brand new coach. All right, so let me tell you the story of what brought me to look inside this panel. Okay, well, I was over here and I noticed my batteries weren't charging well. And so I, I got new batteries and then those didn't seem to charge well. And so I started looking at everything and I started noticing that my lights were dim. So I got a tester out and I started doing some testing and I found out that my IntelliCharge Wizard was only putting out like 11 volts. And I said, well, that's bad. So I figured, well, maybe it's bad. So I had this one. I grabbed this one. I plugged it in. This thing's really easy, cool. It's, I mean, honestly, it's nice to have as a spare. So I plugged this in and test this. And this here is getting like 14, 13, 7. Really nice voltage coming out of there. But why isn't this one? This is a 60 amp. This thing's like a 75 amp. I mean, this is this top of the line. It's a 2022 trailer right here. Can't get any better. That thing's old. So anyways, I started messing around with it, and I started testing these terminals right here. And I was only getting 11 volts off of this thing and 11 off of this one. And I was like, that is weird. So I tested here, and this was getting full power from here so I knew this guy was working so after looking at this once I moved it I noticed wow look at look at the heat damage and it's just not looking good so I moved it it literally cracked the wires broke off they all fell down right there and that would explain that okay so anyways pulled that out tested this everything's got good voltage that's an issue that's due to factory probably this was left loose i'll tell you i've had more problems with loose grounds loose grounds are the absolute worst thing you can ever have it is your enemy that right there is not a loose ground but that's a loose neutral okay these whites are your neutral wires these are your ground wires this is a sub panel your main panel on your house that's your main that's your panel one this is a sub these are all separated these are your grounds these are all your neutrals okay somewhere along the line these neutrals something was shorting out well we got to looking at it and this screw and this screw were loose and this one was loose they were all kind of loose but these were completely backed out and these wires were rattling side to side so when we're driving this was arcing and it was just creating heat look at this this thing's embedded into this plastic case uh, that's thank god they make these out of plastic I mean, 
If it was steel, this would have been grounded to this because that's what your ground's for, is to ground any metal, box, pipe, anything. This would have been grounded. It would. It should have popped something here. I, I don't know why this didn't pop something. It concerns me, and believe me, I will do some testing just to make sure this was something from the factory because I'll tell you, I've had some real issues when they put these trailers together. I had an issue with one of my trailers where they put the they put the dump tank the dump tank in, then they put the generator on top of it, but they didn't put the exhaust pipe in when they test ran the Jenny, so the exhaust literally just blew straight down into the the top of the black dump tank and melted a hole like that big. So when we're driving, my wife's calling me on the CB from the Jeep. Hey, there's toilet paper and crap flying. And I'm going, I'm in front going, not a chance. Not in my brand new attitude. Yes, in my brand new attitude, there was from the factory. Then that started a whole barrage of problems. But anyways, point is, a lot of this stuff is from the factory. I'm telling you. Second thing is... Go to every panel you have and tighten up your grounds right now. I lost a washer, a dryer, and a furnace in the house because of a bad ground and a bad... Actually, it was a bad common. I keep saying ground, but bad common. But grounds can do it too. Um, but anyways, this here is an issue. I need to pull these out, get all this burn out of here, get back to some nice wire, make sure it's good. Put them back in there. Look at this. This thing's embedded in there. If you feel it from underneath right here, I don't know if you can even see that. So, it's still good. We'll make it work. So, anyways, this is your sub panel, just if you ever wondered. Here's your 50 amp. So, right here, what happens? This 50, half of this goes this way. And half of this goes this way, okay? So this is one set of your breakers. So when you're plugging in that plug that you're looking at, and it's got those four holes, you know, the round one on the top, the round one on the top's your ground. The one on the, going like this, like the, that's your common or your neutral. A lot of people like to use different terms, but they really mean things, but anyways um it's a, it's a neutral so and then the two sides are your legs and that's one two that's one two coming from your panel so if you ever wondered what's going on here that's one half that's the other half when you're on 50 amp when you're on 30 it's all the same thing so but anyways let's get this torn apart my son started tearing into this already because we love stuff like this. This, as long as everything works, I'm happy. That works. This is all good. This whole unit's about a thousand bucks. I don't want to buy one. I have a warranty. I could take it down. But honestly, they did this from the beginning. So I don't want to take it down and have them do it. So I'm going to just fix all this myself, make it look nice. Fix this wire, clean these up. Look at that one. Even that one's got some corrosion in it. Just got to tighten these things. Got to make sure these are tight. Loose connections are a huge issue. So let's go grab some tools. Start digging into this thing. I don't know where my good strippers are, but anyways, let's cut into this so he pulled these out a little bit let's cut this thing off right here looking pretty clean under there let's, there we go okay well take my sunglasses off since we're not in the sun I mean it doesn't look pretty. I'm gonna cut more off. Yeah, that coating is thick. Okay, well, 
All right, we got some shine on it. You still got a little, doesn't look perfect to me, but that doesn't either. Let's cut that one off. That one's still got some pretty good shine, so let's just cut this one off. Somebody's going to get down there and clean those up. Don't worry. Let's shove this back in there. Look at that. Get that tight. Now that. That's tight, big dogs. I approve that. Look at that doohickey. Okay. Some of those things, because they're stranded, when you tighten them down, it kind of crushes the wires. So, I don't know. I kind of tighten it down, back it off, tighten it down a little more. And I've never tightened one down myself and had it come loose. So... I just think things like this are because they're just in a hurry. It is what it is. So let's go turn that power on and we're going to test this thing. It's on. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. 13. 7. 13. 7. Nice. And then coming out of this one, this one's ground. 13.7, bingo. Those are, those are good connections now. Let's even touch in here on the wires. Those are solid connections, look at that. That thing isn't even bouncing. That's wonderful. Okay, now we got this to deal with. Let's start tearing into these. We got these pulled through. I had my popsicle. Bam! Look at that, I'm back. It was good. Real fruit, strawberry. We're gonna cut that off. Look at that. See how bad that wire is. This one's pretty bad too. We don't want to cut off too much. I don't want to do too much of an overhaul. I just want to make it make it clean. Okay, so let's see if we can put a little strip on this one. Okay. Give these a nice little bend. So those, those two are nice. Let's deal with these. These things look ugly. Look at this, wow. And this one is kind of stripped out. This thing's gonna end up breaking off. What a mess. You would never think you would have this in your brand new trailer, you know? I would. Because I've had a few trailers. This is my third. So let's do this one now. This is my third trailer and I've had problems with every single trailer I've had. Never had a perfect trailer. Cut this one off right there. Put a little crook on the end. Tuck her down in there. There we go. Now we got one, two, three nice ones. We got one more ugly one here. Wow, this one's actually this one's actually melted. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, 
Wow. That one's, I got my pliers. Look at that. Can you see that? Right here? Things literally melted to it. Wow. That is not good. Let's see if we can pull that loose. I'm trying to give you guys a bird's eye view. Could probably, I can do it definitely 10,000 times easier, but this is way more fun showing you guys this cool stuff. Plus working with one hand. Wow, you can see how tough, how melted that thing was. On, look at that, wow, separated. So let's cut off what we can. We can still get a nice bend there, see that? So let's cut off a little bit. Don't have much to work with, so definitely don't want to cut yourself short. We just want to get back to some solid wires. Okay, so there we go. You're gonna need some bigger pliers for that dude. There it is. So here's the problem. This thing has melted down into this. So I'm trying to get that thing in there and it doesn't want to push in very far because it's hitting that plastic. So I'm gonna, just for now, I'm just gonna wedge something under there. Just to hold that up, here we go. Now. Let's see if we can push this down a little more. Yep. That went down. Here we go. Got her tight. Let's get all my wedge skis out of there. See how that's sticking up now is because that wires sticking down. I'm gonna push it a little bit, but not a lot. Push this so this thing rotates. That's tight. This one is Yes! Wow. See that? Thought I tightened that. I'm gonna make sure that thing's showing. I went over these, got them all cleaned up. I think it looks pretty good. That one's clean, that one's clean. Um, so why don't you guys check it out. Let me pick you off your little perch here. Good little parrots you guys are. So check this out. There's what we fixed. All right, it definitely looks a lot better than when we first opened this thing up. So I think Mr. IntelliCharge uh, Wizard should be converting my power, no problem, to 12 volt. That converts to 12 volt. Converter, charger, also charges your batteries. These go to your battery. Those in there go to your 50 amp plug. That's your neutral. So we fixed all these, pulled them through, got solid connections. These just heated up, but it didn't damage the wire. The wire looks all the same. I mean, these look really good, but everything's tight. I went through it all. I recommend everybody looking at this. This takes maintenance. You know, you have other things. 
That's my good thing. Fell right on the ground. Anyways, you got maintenance on this stuff, man. I'll be honest, it's not just, you don't just turn it on and hope it goes. You might want to take a peek once in a while because you got bad grounds, you got loose grounds, you got loose neutrals. But uh, anyways, that's the whole project. There it is. Got it all cleaned up. Glad you guys watched it. If you liked it, click the subscribe over there, over there, down there, wherever I put it on this video. I have no idea, but it's me. I'm a one-man show, so click the subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next RV catastrophe later.